to an iconic Australian location. We're going to Dundee Beach. Should we be in trouble here? Oh, I might have f***ed up here. We've taken the wrong bloody track. This is shit creek without a paddle. Yeah, get back out to the main road. Yeah, we're Oh my god, the van is on such a lady. F***ing feeling. All right, we're on the track into an iconic Australian location. We're going to Dundee Beach today. We're on the track now. We're dropping the tires and Keelan's going to drop the bags too because there is a few low hanging trees which we've already like nearly clipped the caravan on. So we're dropping it as low as possible to try and avoid any damage. So I'm just going to drop the bags a little bit on the van because that way we get probably a little bit of clearance. But trying to stay off the bump stops as well. It's a fine line. When we went into Notch Point, we did the same thing. We dropped it right down. It helps so much. So. Check out the track, like literally bulldust. And yeah, it's super narrow and long. So we'll see how we go. Jump in and uh, let's attack Dundee Beach. Oh, slow down, slow down. You've got like literally maybe like four centimeters. If you might actually be in trouble here. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get into this joint. Right, if you keep going straight, slow, slow, slow. Jeez, that is so tight. I don't know if we're going to make it past this one now. No, that's going to hit. It's going to hit? Yeah. I'm going to scratch the van. Yeah, I need you to jump out. Shit. Well, there goes that dress. Fuck hell. Yeah, it's hitting the leaves, the dead leaves. You've still got more room on that side. Yep. Yep, more, more. It's hitting on the leaves, you should be right. Uh, I might have f***ed up here. Um, pretty well the track that we're meant to be on is that one on the right and see how open it is hang on a minute when we came in and i said the no through road sign is the one we're meant to be on and you said they both link up yeah i think sarah's right i think see we're on this real overgrown one so we've got to drive all the way up till it links up there which is like gnarly like i'll get out and we'll film it but yeah that road there is the one that we're meant to be on it's not on hema either so Anyway, we're struggling for clearance, like we're hitting the van on stuff, like it's a proper nightmare. No one, nowhere to turn. Look at that. Sarah's ripped her dress. <laughs> Can't turn around anywhere, like that's the track up there. Like this is shit creek without a paddle, like well and truly. We've taken the wrong bloody track here. Oh well, hopefully we can make it up a little bit further. How far away do we have to make it? We'll see how we go here, folks, but we're, you're, bring, you, you're coming along. I can't even speak, I'm that rattled. Anyway, I've dropped the tyres down the van to 25 PSI, so let's see how we go now. Far out. Far out, this is tight. They're coming straight. Yep. The aerial is probably the weakest link at the moment. That and the air con on the van. The car's bush wrapped, so I'm not worried about that. It's just everything else that's very gnarly. Oh my God, are you kidding? That's like millimeters. And Sarah's out of the car, she's not even spotting me. I don't even know what I'm doing. This is insane. Why have we done this to ourselves? You can only blame yourself in a situation like this. I picked the wrong track. I'll line up to it, but yeah, this is just mental. Life. That is way too close on that side. Surely we can just turn around here and get back out to the main road. Yeah, we're going to turn around. Massive giveaway. We're giving away a 200 watt iTech World Solar Blanket valued at 500 bucks. All you have to do is two clicks. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting that red button. Also, go to our description, click the link that says iTech World Giveaway. Subscribe to iTech World. So, two clicks and you could win yourself something valued at $500. This 200 watt solar blanket. I cannot wait to draw this one, guys. Good luck. We've also got some brand new merch. So if you want some t-shirts to support us, definitely head to our website, buy some merch. Thanks, legends, and enjoy the video. All right, we need to, I'll back it up because we're not going to get through there. But once we, only 200 more meters and then we're, we're back on that main track. So I need to reverse it out of here. Mm -hmm. so if you can spot me, reverse it out of here and then I'll hit this middle track and hopefully make it. 
Yeah, you're right. Keep coming straight back. Keep coming back. Oh, careful with that. Oh my god, the van is on such a lead. F killing. The situation, check that lean out on the van. Oh my god. Far out, that is not good. No, that's the KDSS arm. Yeah, it's the KDSS arm. That's meant to be like that. Holy shit, you scared the crap out yeah, of me. Yeah, well, how do you think I feel? I'm scared as well. All right, I think I'm going to reverse it back. Right, so I'm going to reverse it back and then put it more in the ditch, but hopefully not hit these trees. But that's a serious lean. Like, I feel that's yeah, close that's to its fine. tipping point on the van. Good, it's coming back straight now. Yeah. yeah. It's just mental. It's almost not even worth it. Fuck. Probably the amount of times I've felt like that traveling around Australia, the track might not even be worth the destination. Like, I'd be able to count them on two fingers, I reckon. Yeah, that felt way better. Stay on that line, straight. Keep coming this way a bit. Yep. Left. Oh, wait. That way. That way. Yep, straight. This way more. Yep. I think we made it. We're the only caravan down here and that's no bloody surprise there, is it? This place looks absolutely insane. Alright, so we just set up. It's a uh, crack a day. Like, we haven't seen a rain or a cloud in uh, in general for like probably a month, I reckon, which is Since a good. Since we entered Northern Territory. Yeah. They don't get clouds here, it's just always sunny. <laughs> so, mind the mess, we're just doing a bit of um, spring cleaning pretty much, but. Spring yeah. cleaning, we're doing the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> you can do them in spring, is it spring? No, it's. Winter. It's winter. Anyway, check out this bloody spot. We're right on the beach here. How good is this? Um, Beachfront camping, like we said earlier, this is actually a free camp, so it is amazing. Definitely peg your awnings down because we're getting some sick gusts of wind. Absolutely tossing a fair bit of stuff around. Anyway, we're gonna head up the beach. You can drive on this beach as well. Um, there's little access tracks so you don't destroy the vegetation. We're gonna head up the beach, go check out the creek. Apparently there's crocs everywhere around here. Apparently the fishing's pretty good as well, so that's what we're doing now that's the plan um what a spot it's well worth the drive in even though we did scratch the shit out of everything and almost roll the van 
and Sarah's dress got ripped. Yeah, I know, but it is worth it. <laughs> it is. Fingers crossed we can get a fish. Knowing my track record, we won't, but hey, we're gonna have a crack anyway, and uh, it should be a really good day. Rightio, we're all set to go, but before we do, I thought I'd show you our solar situation. So, this is what it's like since we sort of crossed into the NT, getting about 55 amps from the roof panel. So, we got five. Uh, 210 watt panels on the roof and then we've got the solar blanket out as well. So that's given us another 11.5 um, That's not laying properly. It's not on the 45 degree. It keeps blowing over in the wind So it's just laying flat on the ground. We're still getting 11.5. So total We're getting around 66 67 amps of charge right now, which is well enough to run your aircon So when we get back from our little trip, we'll crank up the aircon get this chilled right down when the um, caravan gets down to temperature the aircon will just be fan only and cycling the compressor. And when it's fan only, we're still pulling in like 30 amps of charge while the aircon's going. When the compressor pulls in, it runs about 10 amps heavy of what we're coming in with solar. So we're running at about a 10 amp deficit there. So yeah, that's what you want when you're running the aircon off grid is uh, a really big solar system. That's that's the key right here, solar. Solar is king, I always say it. But yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys that. How sick is this? We're on Dundee Beach. So many good spots if you had like a rooftop or like just a little swag there's so many little nooks where you're protected from everyone it's so sick far out this is the zone around here eh, for fishing and stuff jesus there's well, like a nice little say, let's go down to the rock. we would have scratched <laughs> the van even more though that's the yeah. only issue that's why i said we shouldn't do that but this is just paradise really so good. look at palm trees we're yet to see a crocodile yeah we'll see one today i reckon for sure Sarah's practicing her drone <laughs> skills, almost got bogged. Oh no, I'm gonna get bogged again here. Ah, well, here we go, I'm doing a bit of a squeaky squeak. But biggest rookie error like I was driving past Sarah then and I didn't know which way the wheel was straight Like I had it straight like that, but it was when it was turning that way I was like, what the hell is he doing? The car's going like sideways so Yeah, it was a massive rookie mistake Almost <laughs> bloody bogged himself because my wheels have been turned the whole time this Check this great. joint out, this is sick so we might as well rock and roll. How good is this spot? So pretty. Look at it, you haven't even Shot. got out of the car. Ah, my feet, that is hot. Jesus, that's hot as sin on the feet. Bloody hell, look at this. If I know anything about fishing, I reckon there could be a fish in there because that's water. Look at that, that's prime. So I've got the, the lure box out, look at this. All my lures. And uh, my job for the next hour is to go through these lures and see which one's gonna catch me a big fat barramundi, so. How are you going? Uh, I think I'm about ready to give up. <laughs> I've tried. I've tried every lure under the sun. I've tried Vibe, Soft Plastics, Bait Junkies, Z-Mans, everything. Like every lure in my tackle box, hard stick lures, bloody you name it. I've tried it, and uh, yeah, I've heard a few splashes, but um, all the yeah, locals. Yeah, I've seen a few little fish, but nothing. Tiny little archer fish and stuff, yeah. but not the target species. So I think we'll give up for now. And, Maybe try again later. Maybe when the sun's going down or something. Yeah, it's like so hot. We're just dripping in sweat, but you can't go for a swim. It's like so yeah, such it's a tease. The worst. Okay, I'm not sure what is going on in the NT. It's but we're having a, a little bit of bad luck. So I just went to put my sunnies on and it clean snapped. snapped. 
Bloody hell. Oh, I have had these sunnies for a long time. They are my faves and they just are in the sand and salt all the time. So it probably was bound to happen. But Spewing. Jeez, ripped dress yesterday, broken sunnies today. What's next? <laughs> Broken boyfriend, I reckon, because he's oh. not catching any barramundi. I don't know, but I'm a bit bloody red. Look how sweaty I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. There's nowhere to swim oh, around here. I think there's, so a, hot. there's a rock pool somewhere, but yeah, we haven't found it yet. All right, so we've been home for about four hours now, and we have been couch potatoes, Sarah's so smacking some bickies. <laughs> We're about to uh, start cooking dinner, but I, I told you I'd show you the aircon situation. So we got home at about one o'clock. And it, what's the time now? Six o'clock. Six o'clock. It's still probably 30 degrees outside. That's the NT for you. But um, I, yeah, this is what the aircon's been doing. Um, we've got it set on 24. So what I do to make this run really efficiently, crank it all the way down to like 16 when you first start it. It gets right down to temp and then bust it up and it goes to fan only. And that's the easiest way to get it down to temperature quickly and go easy on your battery. So. Anyway, we're pulling about 55 amps now, and as you can see, all afternoon, we've been running it for about five hours now, and we've only used, what's that, 30% of our battery, so we're still sitting at 70%, unfortunately now, though. And now I've got to run the air fryer, make some chippies. <laughs> so the air fryer pulls about 150 amps when Sarah uses it. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll obviously turn the aircon off, because I reckon that plus the aircon will, the air fryer plus the aircon will trip it, so. It's probably six o'clock, it's probably time to turn this off now. But anyway, tonight we're having fish for dinner. That salmon we caught the other day at Karumba. I'm gonna do my signature fish dish. This is the easiest, simplest. Signature fish dish, you well, put some spice on it. Well, think about it. Don't show them yet, don't show them. This is the easiest way to impress your partner on the road, no doubt. Get some fish, whether you buy it from Woolies and tell them that you caught it, whatever you wanna do. Just get any fish. And what I'm about to show you transforms even really shitty fish, like probably not the best tasting fish into really good chewing fish. So I don't know why I just threw a shucker, but let's get into it. First step is um, this will actually make you perform better when you're, you're seasoning the fish. So anyway, we'll crack that. What a spot, eh? Step two, if your fish is already in a Ziploc bag, halve it, put half in the other Ziploc bag. So just roughly get half and half. Step three, this is the probably the biggest secret. Radio, so for fish, probably bags of fish, crank the Weber up as hot as you can get it to go, literally as hot as you can, because I always reckon with seafood, hot and fast is the best way to cook seafood. I don't know one seafood, whether it's boiling crab, boiling marron, crayfish, any sort of fish that you ever cook slowly. Um, I'm sure there's some niche little things you can do to it, but yeah, hot and fast is always my secret when it comes to seafood. So this is our um, 300 watt solar blanket. It's from iTech Well. We swear by this thing for like beach camps and stuff like this and off grid stuff. Like it just seems to give us that little extra bit of power that we seem to need all the time. It's bulletproof. We absolutely abuse it and treat it like shit and it never breaks. So yeah, if you want one, SKT will get you an extra 5% off at iTech World, so it'll save you like 100 bucks on one of these things. So it's definitely worth using the discount code, so SKT. And yeah, I, I really rate it. It's um, it's so handy to have, just as a backup even. All right, so it's been five minutes. The, um, the weather's preheated. Next thing you want to do is get some, some good oil or some really bad oil. I can't really taste the difference, but everyone's like, oh, you've got to get the extra, 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 extra virgin olive oil. Anyway, I just douse it with that because we want this to be like almost shallow frying these fish fish nuggets. Yeah, this is the only way to do it. Just douse it with a heap of oil and wait until it gets super, super hot. That's the only way to do it. It's time to start frying up these fish nuggets. Now, they're going to be varied in size, but you should get a little sizzle. I don't know if you can hear that. It means it's hot enough. Only just your nicely seasoned fish straight on the pan. If you use egg to coat it before you put the um, the actual fish coating on it, it'd probably work a lot better. But hey, I told you this was the lazy version. Do the second bag. This sunset is insane. Salt. Just like so. Hey Sarah, would you be able to pass me out some tongas? LTs, long tongues, please. 
Radio, this is how you know they're done. You just give them a little flip. Oh, look at that golden brown fish nugget. Oh, 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 oh. It's just all gasmic. Oh no, it's too hot. <sighs> Almost burnt my tongue, but check this out. There's absolutely no fish out there though. We tried all day, and I'm gonna try tomorrow morning as well, because I'm an idiot. All right, here's the taste tester. Let's have a squizzy. Let's get you a real nice bit. <laughs> I reckon that bit's looking plump. I don't want to say moist, because that's not a good way to describe things. Have a crack. It'll be hot. Mm. Very nice. Out of well. 10, out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. It's delicious. And, and trust me when I say, if it wasn't, Sarah would tell me because she's <laughs> brutal. <laughs> I think I've done such a good job sometimes and she just she's nails yelling. me. Let's load you up. Tell me when. That's We've dinner. got a bit of a flu too, that's why I feel a little bit shit tonight. Yeah, we actually have a sneaky suspicion that we might have COVID. Just to think, that tan, well, that panko mix was only what? How much does that cost? A dollar eighty. Dollar eighty, and the fish was only three hundred and eighty dollars. <laughs> Because we can't, we have to go on a charter to catch any, so it's actually pretty expensive yeah, fish. But so yeah, it's about three hundred and eighty-two dollars worth of dinner tonight. But anyway, we've still got plenty left in the freezer for a mum that little expedition. But yeah, how sick is this? This is why you travel Australia. This is insane. Eating fish because you can't catch any fish. That's living. <laughs> Come down for a morning fish and I flicked about 300 times and I finally got something. How sick is that? Little Trev, little grunter. That's sick. How cool is that? Little Trev in the morning. What a beauty. I think he's going back, but he's not quite big big enough so hopefully his mum cruises past now put up a good fight though look at that what a beauty camps right there let him go off you go mate We've got the van hooked up, as you can see. And the reason I'm filming this is I want to show you is what actual track to take. So this is the first track. So the beach is down that way. Don't take the first one. Keep going past it. See, we're going straight instead of turning right. This is when you're leaving. Obviously, it'll be the direct opposite when you're coming in. But I'll show you what the actual track looks like. So you so can, much yeah, we drove it yesterday just with the car just to check it out. And um, yeah, it's a fair bit easier, so check this out. So here you go, this is what the track is meant to look like. <laughs> look, so look at the difference. Look, you could drive your bloody, there's a few little washouts and ruts, but nothing, eh? I reckon I could almost get, if I had an on-road van, I'm not telling you you can do this, but I'm saying I reckon you'd give it a red hot nudge. That, um, the Urban Tourer yesterday, that's a semi off-road, isn't it? Yes. This is 
what it was meant to look like. Speaking of, there's a van right there. <laughs> He's got a little, probably a 16 footer semi off road. Um, yeah, so look at this. This is what it's meant to look like. The track that you're not meant to take is in there. But it's real tricky. What? The angle of my face is real good. <laughs> He's like got it underneath him while he drives. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Piece of piss. <laughs> <laughs> 